Hi everyone, Jem here once again giving you guys a book review. This time I'm going to be reviewing Hero by Perry Moore. Um, this will be a non-spoiler review. Um, so if you guys have not yet read the book, um, this will be fine. No spoilers or anything. If you have read the book, just give me some comments down below what you thought of it. And give me a thumbs up. So, I give this book, out of a 10, I give it a, an awesome 9 out of, 9.5 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. Um, and let me just read you guys the synopsis first. The last thing in the world Tom Creed wants to add to his dad, Hal's pain, so he keeps secrets. Like that, he has special powers. And that he's been asked to join the League, the very organization of superheroes that spurned his father. The most painful secret of all is one Tom can barely face himself. He's gay. But becoming a member of the League opens up a new world to Tom. There, he connects with a misfit group of aspi aspiring heroes, including Scarlet, who can control fire but not her anger, Typhoid Larry, who can make anyone sick with his touch, and Ruth, a wise old broad who can see the future. Like Tom, these heroes have things to hide, but they will have to learn to trust one another when they uncover a deadly conspiracy within the League. To, <clears throat> to survive, Tom will face challenges he never imagined. To find happiness, he'll have to come to terms with his father's past and discover the kind of hero he really wants to be. Um, this book was absolutely amazing. <clears throat> it was really realistic, except for, like, the whole superpower, superhero thing. Um, about how he struggled, um, being gay and, like, staying in the closet because of his dad being all, like, <clears throat> his dad used to be a big superhero call, um, named Major Might. And so... A thing happened prior to the book. An event prior to the book happened which caused him to lose his hero status and he's now like all shameful. The world like just the world over hates him for it. And um Tom the main character um he has powers. Um and <clears throat> Because of what happened to his father, his father hates everything that has to do with superpowers, superheroes, not allowed to discuss it or anything. And so there's that one problem in his life. And then the other is that he's gay and his father was very adamant on how he hates, absolutely hates, um, gay people in one of the chapters when it flashed back to Tom's um, childhood, and it was, like, absolutely, like, nuts, um, <clears throat> this book had a lot of plot twists that had me freaking out, and just some awesome, epic, like, punches being thrown that made me go, yes, um, I don't know, those were my reactions. It was just a lot of plot twists that I did not see coming and made me freak out so much. I was like, and I was in school during these parts, and I, cause I read most of the time during school, and I was like, completely freaking out in class. So people were looking at me like, "What the hell is wrong with you? What's going on?" And I was all like, "It's just my book." So there's a lot of great plot twists. Things that will hit you that you never expected. And basically, um, that's all like this is. Tom being a gay superhero, trying to fit in, in a sense. Um, I'm not going to go too much detail into the book since it's like really late. But um, he is with his team... Um, and all this, a lot of drama overall happens. Some things are predictable in the book. Um, you, things that you can just pick out right away. 
and you can just keep that in the back of your mind and you can just remember it. But there were a lot of plot twists that I did not see coming, but then there were a lot of things that seemed like plot twists, but weren't since it was very much predictable and um, a lot of hints were dropped during the beginning. Um, I should get into the other characters. Scarlet uh, is a girl who can um, make fire, but in the beginning supposedly hates Tom. Um, Typhoid Larry, he's just, I don't know, he's just there. He's just a supporting character. He's not too much of a big role of a supporting character. He's just there, and he's able to make anybody sick with his touch. Uh, Tom, his power is to heal things. Sometimes. Um, you'll understand what I mean by that. Uh, if you read the book, or if you've read it. And Ruth is a an old lady who can see the future, who um, Tom gets on along with um, the best, the most. I'm saying it weird, but you know what I mean. And there's this other guy named Golden Boy who is um, the team, the so-called team leader, who has super speed and is very stuck up and arrogant. At least from how he's depicted, but then later on in the story, it's all fine and dandy and what's not. Anyway, uh, let me get into one thing. All right. A lot of characters, most of the superheroes from the big league is from, like, there's people from, like, DC and Marvel, they just, Perry just re more just reimagined it. Like, Captain, not Captain, um, Justice, the big guy, um, he is Superman. You understand once you get to, like, um, further on into the book if you have not read it. Um, he is Superman. He's that guy. Um, I guess, cre um, I guess Tom's dad... I guess he would be Batman, honestly, if I see that comparison now. He's Batman. Then there's Silver Bullet, who is Flash, and then Golden Boy, who is Kid Flash, because Golden Boy is Silver Bullet's um, sidekick. There is Warrior Woman, who, a.k.a. is Wonder Woman. Um, there's a... Oh, you could always argue that Silver Bullet is... Quicksilver, because of the whole silver and super speed thing from Marvel. Um, and there was somebody else who I cannot remember at the moment, unfortunately. But anyway, I'm sorry I'm being so vague with this book review. I'm very tired. It's near midnight, and I got school in the morning. I wake up at 5, so I only have a couple hours of sleep. Um, but I absolutely love this book, and 8 out of... An 8.5 out of 10 is a definite. And I feel really sad. This was um, planned to be um, a movie or a TV series. A TV series. Because Stanley absolutely loved the book, too. And he was, like, supporting the author with it, Perry Moore. Um, and this is Perry Moore's debut, um, debuting book. But unfortunately, three years ago, Moore died. At a very young age, too, 39. And so we, and this um, was supposed to go on as a series. I mean, I would have loved for it to go on as a series. I'm hoping to find some fan fiction of some of this stuff, seeing like some of the relationships that happen throughout the book. And I'm hoping for like to find some fan fiction so I just can go more on to that. But, um, so yeah, that's basically all I really have to say. Uh, again, 9.5 out of 10, absolutely astounding, amazing. Touches on the, um, homophobia of the world, how people hate you and judge you, and they're all bigots because you're different from everybody else, and you're not, like, because being normal... Honestly, being normal is overrated. Being yourself is great. Just go out there, be yourself, no matter how weird you are. You'll find somebody who likes you for you, and you don't have to listen to the rest of the world 
and try to feel accepted by, like, just fitting in and just hiding behind a mask, you know? Um, so again, Hero by Perry Moore. Absolutely amazing. Loved it. Loved it, loved it. I really wish there was more to this. I wish that author didn't die. I feel really bad, honestly. And it was his only book. But it's an amazing book. I recommend you to go out and read it. Um, if you're into LGBTQ or if you're into superheroes like comics, Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, um, Image, IDW, all that kind of shit. So that's all I really have to say con um, concerning the book. Um, so my last review, I had I was like saying all these books I was gonna read. Um, I was reading Before I Fall, I was reading, what was the other book? Um, I've Got Your Number, and I was reading, um, If I Stay. Those three books, I ha I've gone at least a little bit less than halfway, I guess, through the books. I mean, I had to return Before I Fall, and, um... I've got your number back to my friends. Well, one to the library and one to my friend. And if I say I actually own that, I had to stop reading it because I've been so distracted with comics lately. Like, I've been, I've been really getting into, like, comic books, uh, mostly Batman and X-Men. Um, so I haven't been really reading too much as of late. I only stopped reading comics for, like, a little bit to read hero because basically it's a superhero thing and I just love it um but I will be trying to get back into those books I, I only stopped I, re I still remember vividly what happens what had happened so I can just jump right back in read them I still have like at least four books from authors who sent their books to me that I will have to read and I will read and do reviews of course so, because of the new school year, I've been so stressed out with all my classes, so I will try to get as many book reviews up as soon as possible this year, because I have no idea how many reviews I'm going to be able to get in. Because last year, I read 60 books throughout the school year, through the school year last year, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to meet 60, or if I'm going to be able to go over 60, or if I'm going to be like not even halfway through 60. So, that's all I got to really say. Um not really too not really too sure what the next book is. I'm hoping to get into those one of those three books that I finished halfway on and I guess my next book review will be a surprise to you and to me, hopefully. So, um, if you've read the book, Hero by Perry Moore, give this, um, video a thumbs up. Subscribe button's down there, and give me a comment. What did you think about the book? Um, are you disappointed that I never actually did get, make it onto the big screen? Not big screen, but your TV. And if you'd like to read more of this, or if you found fan fictions... Like, tell me if you found fan fictions for the book, or if you'd like to read more. Tell me what would you, like, what, um, would you like to read more on? Like, um, some backstory, like, of Ruth's past, of what happened, like, in more detail, or, like, the shippings that going on there. Um, so just let me know. Comment down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye!